I'm not a big fan of Hollywood. I don't like how there's there's this attitude in Hollywood that I think even Steven Spielberg had had said something that was just like, well, you know, if it's not uh, if it's not something released in theaters, then it shouldn't be eligible for awards. Oh man, oh man, that 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 attitude pisses me off. It does, and it's and it's throughout any of the award shows that you see. Throughout any of those awards, oh well. You know, when, when you make a movie, you, you know, you have to do all of these things. The MPAA says so. You have to do it this this right way. You know, so you can get it released properly. Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, I, I, fuck. Fuck, I hate that part, man. I hate that part about it. Um... And I would be very happy to see uh, that whole pompous side of Hollywood just kind of crumble. I would. I, I would enjoy watching that. Um, and I know right now that if that happened, we would still we would probably see an explosion in more an in independent content. I mean, the amount of things you can do with a, a very little amount of money now, it, it's just amazing. The the uh, Someone could have a laptop, uh, a camera that's uh, a model higher than this one, like one that can do 4K, right? Still cheap in in contrast to what things used to cost. Could use one of these. There's a lot of stuff that's obviously involved in making a movie, but it can be done on cheap equipment. You don't have to spend tons to get good results. It's about the know-how. Do you know how to do this? And as long as you know how, you can use cheap equipment and get good results. So independent movie making, I, I, I'm hoping, is going to have a, a huge explosion over the next decade or so. Um, I think it's great that these award ceremony shows are... Th the viewership on them has gone way down. And I'm like, great, that's awesome. Because it... It's crap. It's it's just it's all a bunch of pompous crap. It's garbage. It really is. And then people go on about look, oh, who are you wearing today? You know, as in reference to the outfits, you know. Oh, I'm I'm a Lufna Oh, it oh, it looks fabulous. Yeah, some fifty thousand dollar dress. Yay. <laughs> Aren't you looking dapper today? Uh, to the guys. All right, anyway. Hollywood doesn't want to take chances. and It's gotten a lot worse in more recent years. We can see them do the prequels, the sequels, the reboots. They like to take an old franchise and try to put some sort of bit of a new twist on it and with new effects and hope it's some sort of a blockbuster hit because, well, look, it's kind of... These things have been a hit in the past, so, you know, they're not going to take chances because it's a lot of money they spend on, on each one of these things, right? But they take something old and they try to modernize it. Now, they could take something old and do it sort of in a retro way make it take place in the time in which that thing was originally created like they could do that with James Bond like if they if I don't see why they would do that now because the new ones have been making so much money but if it wasn't and they wanted to do a reboot of James Bond of some sort they could feasibly try to do it where it's taking place in which the, 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 the time the books were originally written which I think was in the 50s if I'm not mistaken Make it take place there and have all those gadgets and stuff look all 50s. Everything just very, very, very stylized in that kind of way. And it would probably line up a lot better. But they don't. They modernize things. And the first real significant change was after Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton, they were they were trying to they they were trying to, to to flow a little bit away from the sexist part of James Bond. Let's make him sort of 
almost mean, almost the... You know, they, they tried to make Timothy Dalton uh, more of a badass kind of, of character. That's what they tried to bring to Bond, and that wasn't working so well. So then they switched to... When they when Pierce Brosnan came in, they said, okay, let's, let's start changing the dynamics a little bit of the characters. And they had to do that to make it seem like a real fleshed out character. Otherwise, it's like trying to take something from, trying to take a, a character that was originally, had its archetype in the 50s and 60s and trans, and just like teleport it, time, time teleport it to now. You know, and, and I mean, Austin Powers was the, uh, was trying to show what would happen if, you know, that sort of thing were to occur. It's just absurd. But when that, I remember when the when the Pierce Brosnan change happened, there were people saying, "Oh, the feminists! The feminists are ruining everything." Back then, people were saying that shit. It was they were blaming it on the feminists instead of just looking at, "Hey, the, the studios are just trying to figure out something to make this modern, to make this character work. If they can't find some way to make the character fit in, into today." then it, the franchise is dead as far as they're concerned. Again, they could try a retro thing, but, you know. Um, and so the same thing is going on with with Marvel characters and, and, and the superhero characters. and The same thing is going on with that. And the studios are trying to find these, these ways of, of making their, their product more modern. They're trying to... They're trying to do what they can so it, it can make money. And people turn around and start blaming the SJWs and the feminists for for the things that they love changing. And it's just like, they've got to put these sorts of twists in order to make them modern. If you don't like that, well, yell at Hollywood. Yell at them for not wanting to take chances. Because for them, not trying to modernize it would be taking more of a chance than modernizing it. If you do think SJWs are the cause of the current state of movies and the current state of Hollywood, what's the alternative? What's, what's your answer to that issue? What do you think should be done? Should we insert really far right-wing uh, stuff into movies and demand that uh, they put, uh, you know, white power stuff into the movies or, or what? Okay, maybe that's a little bit of hyperbole. Should we demand that movies be made of uh, primarily one demographic, you know, the white demographic, and not try to insert anything from any other demographic into the movie, except as side characters, sort of like it used to be? Um, should that be? Is should we should we make demands about that? Is that how you reverse this? Do you censor SJWs? Do you try to stop their message from being heard? Is, is that a way to do this? That way, I mean, because if their message isn't heard, then Hollywood doesn't have a chance of, of, of hearing it. Is, is that what's wanted? Should we, uh, you know, the, should we push forth its, its, the SJW opposite. So should we should we push forth a Christian message everywhere? You know, balance it out with with Christianity or certain sects of Christianity. I'll I'll say that because it's not you know it may not be that as a whole. But you know should just, should we start pushing religious messages into movies? Would that help? What's what's the answer? Or is the answer to just shut up about minorities and shut up about any groups that feel disenfranchised or feel marginalized? They should, and anything that they deal with, they should just shut up because uh, the majority is the majority and, uh, and shut up. Oh, I'm so tired of hearing about other groups. Can't something just be all white and, and not not have complaints about it like it used to be? You see, we've reached a point in some of this, I'm sorry for using the phrase, uh, white fragility, that 
if there's a, a character from another uh, from another culture and they insert anything that has to do with their experiences and their culture immediately people are like oh it's an sjw message uh no it's just it's just something other than the normal culture you hear from i'm, I'm sorry that that he, that having to hear oh the the pain of having to hear some other culture's message it just oh, it's it just pains you it's just give me a fucking break <laughs>